Hey guys, we're going to learn another topic today. We're going to try and figure out how to do a subtraction problem. But in this case, I have a whole number minus a fraction. So how do we work out this kind of problem? Um, I'm going to start off by just looking at some of my notes. So you can follow along, you can pause it if you need to, and jot it down. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my problem and line up my fractions together and my whole numbers together. Because remember, we have to make sure that whatever we subtract, they are the same types of pieces. Then I'm going to ask myself, when I look at my fractions, do I need to regroup? In other words, is there really enough there? Can I subtract a fraction from a fraction? And you already saw the number. There's not even a fraction there, so we're going to get to that type of problem. And lastly, we're going to ask ourselves, if we need to regroup, what size pieces do we need? And you're going to see how I take one to make an improper fraction. So let's look at my work here. So I have three and one fifth. Let's just line that up vertically. And I'm going to put my whole numbers together and put my four fifths together. So I want my whole numbers together and my fractions to be together. And you already notice I don't have anything here. So I can't really subtract anything, nothing, minus four-fifths. I'm not allowed to do that. I know some kids sometimes just put four-fifths here, but that doesn't make any sense because you can't say some nothing minus four-fifths equals four-fifths. So instead, what I'm going to do is ask the question, do I have enough to subtract? And obviously, no, because there's nothing. So I'm going to borrow one from here. I'm just going to take one away. And kind of imagine it's like, like if you had to take a cookie or something and you had to share it with some friends, you would just break it into pieces. So I'm going to take that one piece of cookie and I'm going to break it into pieces. So what size pieces do I need? I need fifths. So I'm going to take that one cookie and break it up into five pieces and I have five over five. So that's my improper fraction right there. That's where it comes from. I took one from here and I broke it into five pieces. So technically this is still three because two plus this would equal one whole, would still make three. It has to stay that way. Now I can subtract. Five-fifths minus one, four-fifths is one-fifth, and two minus one is one. Um, it's definitely not improper, and it's already simplified, so I'm done. It usually, if, I'm not, if, I, if the number isn't simplified, you want to double-check. But in this case, I'm all done. Good luck.